hello and welcome in today's video on home fast we will be bringing to you our interesting answers about africa and climate change together with its impacts in africa in africa today climate change is an increasing serious threat for africans as africa is among the most vulnerable continents to climate change the fact is that anthropogenic climate change is already a reality in Africa as it is elsewhere in the world. You may be wondering what anthropogenic climate change is and how it is different from natural climate change. Anthropogenic climate change is defined by the human impact on crime on earth climate why natural climate change are the natural climate cycles that have been and continue to occur throughout earth history as africa largely depends on ecosystem goods for a means of livelihood coupled with the underdeveloped agricultural production system the risk of high climate change in part is high our research shows that over the coming decade, the world, not just Africa, will experience an increased mean rainfall. Flood over African countries is becoming a thing of serious concern. In 2021 alone, flood hits Europe and China in July, as well as Nigeria. Uganda and Kenya, among other African countries. Also, observed surface temperature have generally increased over Africa since the late 19th century to the early 21st century by about 1 degree centigrade. But locally, as much as 3 degrees centigrade for minimum temperature in the Sahel at the end of the dry season. Water quality and availability have deteriorated in most areas of Africa, particularly due to climate change. Climate change is likely to further worsen water stress catchments across Africa. Take for example, the refugee basin in Tanzania. Climate change will increasingly impact Africa due to many factors. These impacts are already being felt and will increase in magnitude if action is not taken to reduce global carbon emission. Africa will be one of the regions most impacted by the adverse effects of climate change. The reason for this is that Africa vulnerability are diverse and includes low level of adaptive capacity. Adaptive capacity in the sense means um, it's an important property that refers to the responsiveness of agri-food system when faced with extreme conditions. Human system might, for example, have the capacity to switch to alternative land use with the agri-food systems, meaning that whenever there is an impact or any climate change around Africa, it may be hard for them to adapt to new agricultural um, food production system so that they can have alternative while solving their flood or climate change um, issue that are first land direct. We also have an issue that is called poor diffusion of technologies. The example of this is a society uh, that may have adopted the internet faster than it's, uh, it had adopted the automobile due to cost accessibility, familiarity with technology change. If they actually adopt very fast, just like in Africa, if people can adopt to new technology very fast, it will also help and enable them to actually um, switch over to a technology that can help them to combat climate change. But whereby they cannot adopt to this very fast, it will worsen over time. 
An example of agroecosystem is relatively diverse traditional ecosystem which includes shifting conservation. These are the things that are being practiced in Africa today and looking at it, you will discover that changing in technology, not being adapted so quick, we make the combating of climate change in Africa so slow. So in conclusion, taking Nigeria for an example, the flood in Lagos, Nigeria, Lakey to be precise, has displaced so many people from their homes, has rendered so many people property useless. And this has caused a lot of problems, people being displaced from their residence, people starting out life afresh. And because there is no drastic action taken to combat this climate change by the government, it remains a problem that needs to be solved over time when compared to other developed countries of the world.